Day 2 of hospitalization. This is the 8 years old near red ear slider, 420 grams. Yesterday, we, yesterday we did the surgery to remove the tumor remover. Not tumor to remove the septic wound. He was, uh, he was uh, he was bitten. Let's show the wound first. He was bitten by the uh, other red ear slider. And the wound became very septic. You see the other video. This video doesn't show it. Okay, so I removed the septic wound using electrosurgery, and uh, it was a big wound. So you can see the stitches are quite quite a big big area under the collar. Now these are nylon stitches. Okay, and uh, they are holding the wound is holding very well. It's about 24 hours. Put on the floor. Put on the floor. 24 hours after surgery and uh, put upside down and now we are going to discharge the red ear slider see it's not very active it, it, it didn't even move much huh? okay now we put into the water to see whether he, he can eat or not appetite huh? put in the deep end first the deep end put to the deep end the deep end there Okay, now we just put one pallet first. One pallet in front of him, one on him. In front. Maybe you can't see. Okay, two, two pallets near to his mouth here. Don't seem to have interest in eating. Turn, turn him around to, towards the pallets here. Okay, one stream. According to the owner, he eats a lot before the surgery. Yeah. Now the wound was septic and was very fishy in smell, so I cut off the rotten tissues. And uh, we will put this Red ear slider on antibiotics as well. One more come in front of him. In front. It was kept dry for overnight. About 24 hours. Yeah. So you can see that uh, it's not has no appetite at all. Yeah. So we will take him out and then put him in a dry area first and then goes goes home. To the owner today. Okay.